All right, don't make the mistake I made. 2009 Ford Escape hybrid battery here. You don't need to tear into it this much if you need to charge this battery. Take a look here. You can see that you can't get any voltage there. If you put your leads on this bolt here, turns out that is insulated from the inside. It does not connect to, this bolt does not connect to the batteries. So what you gotta do, get yourself some alligator clips just like that, put it on the inside. Then, that'll make the contact. As you can see here, put those, there's a little slit in there, put the alligator clips in there, and that is how you can gain contact to these leads. And then you can see what your voltage is. This is, this is low right here. This should be around 150 volts. So, don't make this mistake. Now, what I've done, uh, I've got, I've got the Prolong charger here. I'm gonna need, need this to get up to that 150 volt charging. Real good purchase there. So if you did take it apart like I did, you're gonna have to get onto the contact here on the inside. You don't need to though. Made this mistake the hard way after tearing it apart. So after you finally get to get your leads up in there, get that charge going, it's gonna take a couple hours. Uh, anywhere from 12 to 24. You should be able to get that charge back on there, put her all together, and then you can start up your Ford Escape hybrid. Now, if you don't know, these Ford Escapes, the 2009, they don't have that little hot start button in there. They got rid of that feature in the 2009, so that's why if this battery dies, if you left it for a couple weeks, a month or so, and the hybrid battery gets too low, won't start this engine. So that's why you have to dive deep into the hybrid battery to do this. So once again, don't try to hook up to these leads. You are gonna have to tear out all of this stuff to access it. It's a pain in the butt. You have to take that out just to access it, believe me. But once you get in there, you don't have to take the batteries there's two batteries, you don't have to take them apart. You just have to access, get the alligator clip in there. Then you should be able to put on your Prolong battery charger here. Prolong battery charger. Leave it on, you're gonna have to do it twice. This thing only goes up to 250 volts. This is a 300 volt system, once you separate it, it's 150 volts, so you gotta do one at a time. So it's gonna have to be about 12 hours on that one, 12 hours on this one, depending. You're just gonna have to kind of look at things. All right, hope that helps.